Today we're going to be lifting the Model 3 motor into this narrowed subframe, or we may pull the ceiling down in my garage. Either one should be pretty exciting. Stay tuned. come to lift this motor up into this subframe. So this is a hundred percent not advised, but I have attached a Harbor Freight electric winch. I built, pardon my, I built this, um, welded it all together. Put it up there so I could straddle that light, build off that light. Um, then I had some unistrut here that uh, I used. So I have five bolts and these are the um, high tensile strength um, deck bolts. So there's 10 of them in there holding it up. Um, I'm hoping that that, that that does a well good enough. Um, I figure if I need to, I can unbolt all that and move it over here if I ever need to do it. In theory, I would love to be able to lift this body up a couple inches and be able to slide the chassis out, but um, that's another challenge another day. So, see where I've been. Um, got this arm welded on all in line, put bolted bolted the, uh, the brake assembly on both sides. It's within a couple hundredths of a degree probably to this side, so I think we'll be good. Um, got all the tabs welded on and in place. You can see I got this side done. Um, had, to, had to severely cut back this, obviously, because this was much, much wider. <coughs> um, so we're good there. Had to add a little piece of metal here. Obviously a lot of this stuff will be cleaned up as, as it needs to go to powder coat. I did move these over. If you wonder why this one's dented, that's because I was hitting it with a hammer when I was trying to uh, slide the whole thing together. I hit it twice and it dented it, so it was not an accident. Um, so yeah, I cut them off here welded the plate on here. I'll, I'll clean all this up and make it look like it's not welded. Um, these got really good penetration. I still have to weld underneath here once I flip the whole thing over. Um, so these are now narrowed. They were here. Now they're here. So if you look between this, this one and this one, now these are going to fall inside. The frame rail will come out here. I probably will still have to relieve the frame rail for this arm. Probably not this one because it, it comes up and over for the uh, existing rear end was. So I'll probably still have to notch the frame for this. So that's to be determined. But now that it's, uh, it's all done, now we can test my jury rig ability and lift this motor in place. This motor, like I said in the previous videos, it's pretty heavy, um, and it's there's a lot of connections and stuff. I don't want to wrap this strap around it, but then I realized there's some some lifting points here from the factory, or not this one, but this one um, looks like maybe M12. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Home Depot and buy some of those uh, those bolts. I don't know what they're called. The, the um, it's not a clevis hook, but a you know a C a C hook with a pin through it. Put them in both of those. Use my two hook strap here. Hook onto those and just lift it right. Should lift it right in the center. Should be enough to get it. It's going to be close, but if I have to shorten that strap, I will. Um, drop it down in, and uh, hopefully everything bolts into place with little trouble, which I'm sure it won't, but you'll be along for the ride to see it. So next up, I'm going to go to the Home Depot, get some clips, and then uh, I'll do a sort of a time lapse to show you this thing lifting into place. 
an effort to make this video not uh, three hours long and showing you all the clips um, of testing this motor. Uh, I figured I would just show you a time lapse of half, half of it. Um, you can see here I had to actually move the table over uh, my welding table because uh, the hoist from Harbor Freight actually does have a safety on it so you can't lift an angle too much which I was trying to push that angle too far for it so I lifted it up pulled the table back um, which is, is very heavy um, so I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do this 10 times but I ended up having to do it about 10 times um, brought it down and was a little surprised that it was it was shifted to the right side of the car or the passenger side of the car um, couldn't immediately identify what was causing the issue. Um, brought some tools out and some or pry bar and, and tried to bring it over. Uh, upon further investigation, I found there was a um, threaded boss um, from a nut that comes from inside the unit to the outside um, that was holding it um, with thinking that I didn't only have to relieve it about eighth of an inch, I, I nipped the end of it off because there's really no risk in that and um, found that actually I needed uh, a sig not significantly more, but some more uh, space there. Took that took that unit off to, the, it's, a, it's an ex inspection plate essentially on the end of the controller um, and I uh, just wanted to investigate exactly what was inside before I made any modifications to it. And then when I did that, um, there is, there is, um, I don't know how much oil is in these, these motors, but there is some oil in there. So I had to do some cleanup there, but you'll see, uh, this is only one up and down. I, I had to go about 10 times. So this one here, I did not, I knew it was going to be tight here, but if you look down, it's hitting. That's what I was trying to cut off this boss, which is just a threaded boss. Um, but actually, I, I got to cut this off because the plug's hitting too. Actually, this is holding the plug's barely touching. So, uh, so you can see my relief here should be fine. I'll be able to get those in and out. My relief over here is good. Uh, I hope it'll be tight. I gotta buy a connector there. It'll, it should be, it should be good. It'll be, it'll be pretty tight to pull, pull the plug off. But, um, but this side I got bolted on, no issues. And then if we go over here, you can see I need, I need to go that way on both of these. Um, and if you look up here, that's what's holding me right there. So I think if I cut this out, get that relief, these will move over and it should bolt right in. Um, gave myself about 3 sixteenths of wiggle room there on the bushing, knowing that these would, these would collapse down with the threads. So um, give myself a little bit more leeway trying to get these things in and out because it was it was a really pain in the butt to get these this motor out because uh, these were all collapsed down tight uh, as you saw in my uh in my time lapse i uh, totally spaced that the motor has oil in it um whatever kind of oil i gotta figure out what kind of oil it has in it but man the stuff is like Super silicone, I think. So there's a little bit over here. Looks like it's like a blue silicone. Uh, um, it's it's crazy. I had to had to go in the middle and wash my hands because it was just you could not get it off. So anyway, I will cut this hopefully tomorrow. It's late night tonight and um, should be able to drop the motor in. But so far so good. I uh, knew it wasn't going to go first time, but uh, hopefully you'll start seeing it underneath that car here pretty soon.